Welcome back to the Simple Hands Kitchen. I'm going to be showing you how to make fried pork chops. It's a really great dinner. It's really easy to make, so let's get started here. You're going to take four boneless pork chops. You're going to use three eggs, about a fourth a cup of milk. And then you're going to take flour and some other seasonings. You're going to use pepper, garlic salt, garlic powder, onion powder, meat tenderizer, salt, and that's about all. I'm going to tell you on the website exactly how much of each ingredient. But let's get started on making your fried pork chops. All right. I'm going to take my rings off, bracelets, because this is the messy part. And you're going to whisk your eggs together. And you're going to take them. Cover your pork chop real well. in our seasonings. Cover up nice. And if you've seen my fried chicken recipe, you'll see that I double coat. Double coat of the chicken. We're going to do it the same with our pork chops. Make a nice thick coating. You're going to do this with all of your pork chops. While you are doing this, you can go ahead and heat up your grease. I'm using butter today. You can use really whatever you want. You can use vegetable oil, lard, whatever you prefer. I usually just do butter. Alrighty, y'all. So our pork chops are covered now. So we're going to come over here and we are going to get them fried. You're going to cook the stove on medium. And you're going to put them down in there. You don't want to get the grease, get your stove top too hot. And you'll cook them too quick. You're going to cook about on medium. And we're going to flip about every five minutes until they're done. Alrighty, we'll be back when these are done. All right, y'all, this is the finished product. These are your fried pork chops. You'll make them a golden brown like this and they'll be ready to eat. Me and Otis, thank you for watching today. I hope y'all enjoy. Y'all have a great evening and go make some fried pork chops.